Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In today's video, we will learn about UiPath's start process activity. So let us see its documentation first, which says that it is a UiPath.co.activities. So it is part of a core activities or a system activities and it is used to launch a specified application. And we can also optionally pass a list of arguments to that. So there are two parts to it that it launches an application and the second part is that we can pass an argument while launching an application but this passing of argument is an optional criteria. So now let's jump on to the studio your part studio and then start the process of learning about start process activity okay so I have created a project of start process demo in this uh, there is a main XML and I had created a process start process XML but there is nothing to it so we can delete this as well now going to the main workflow and then here I'm dragging the start process which tells that it launches a specified application and we can optionally pass a list of arguments to it as well. So this is the activity which is under system applications in the available resources so it is part of activities now going to the properties of the start process there we have to input the file name or the path of the application that must be an executable path so whichever path we mention here should be executable means that will launch an application for example I'm going to my desktop there is Mendeley desktop which is an application and I'm copying as path and then trying to paste it here so if you see I have added the path and this red marker has gone away which means that we have specified the input that it wanted so it wanted a file name and we have provided that Arg is another input that is activity requires but that one is an optional and why it is an optional we will discuss it later on as of now we will try to run this particular workflow which is main okay and then clicking on the debug file this has started and you will be able to see the Mendeley desktop has been added to the taskbar so this is an application which helps in referencing in the research papers so this is a particular application for that so it has been launched by this particular process activity start process activity to be specific now if you see that this application did not require any arguments to it it was easily opened by the executable path itself why so because when you try to click on this particular application let me close it first when I double click on this this application launches in itself without any additional parameters but for some applications they require those arguments to it so for example we have a run window let me remove this first the Mendeley desktop now you are clear that we have to pass an executable path into the input file into the file name as an input now what about arguments why do we want it so some application do not open up on its own and we need to push it up with some arguments to it or not only just one we can have a list of arguments to it as well so the run window which is windows plus r hotkey if i press that you will be able to see this run window pop up here okay so this application should be launching in the background 
from somewhere in the back end there must be some application executable path that must be there in order to launch this particular window so this usually is in the windows system let me go to the c drive then windows system 32 Here we have the run. Let me sort it on the name. This particular is an application and this usually is for the run windows only. And let me try to double click on this. I have done that double click. But this particular application is not launching. As you can see, right? We haven't seen any application launching it in the taskbar. Though there is some cursor uh, scroll going on. But nothing is happening at the taskbar. So this kind of such kind of applications require some arguments or the list of arguments to it in order to open it up so first let me copy as path and then pass it on into the executable path and now I will pass on some arguments to it or the list of argument we will be passing here which I have searched online so that is the shell 32 dot DLL and the second argument to it would be hash 61 if I try to run this you will be able to see the run window popping up here and you can see that taskbar has loaded the run window and the bot or the automation has done its job it has launched the application with the help of this particular path which we have already gone when we were trying to manually open it up it was not but with the help of some arguments it has eventually opened it up in the taskbar so these are the two tasks of the start process activity first to launch an application and second to launch an application with the help of arguments if it is not launching it directly now I hope that you like this video and do subscribe to my channel and if you have any other questions uh, related to start process activity do comment it down and I will try to help you out thank you so much